Oh, uh, my knees aren't good enough for that. Hurts. This is Clifford, my new plant baby. I love him, and so I thought I'd introduce you to him. Everyone, this is Clifford. Clifford, this is everyone. It's just me being weird as usual, isn't it? You might notice this little thing on my nose here, right in the middle of my face. I had an accident a, a few days ago, about maybe five, where are we now? Yeah, maybe about five days ago. So it's, it's better than it was. It was looking quite a bit worse. <sighs> I've had a bit of an evening, haven't I? <laughs> this bad boy happened <laughs> earlier. As you can see, I hit straight on the bridge of my nose, which was oh, one of the most painful things I've experienced. <laughs> I had an accident, I fell down some stairs and I hit my face into our neighbor's front door. So, that was great. Stairs, door. Tripped on these stairs, face went into that door. It was, it was not a fun time. I'm all good, it's not broken, I didn't get a concussion or anything, but I was advised to go to A&E. So, that was a fun Saturday night. I just look great with this little nose scar, don't I? I am so lucky that it wasn't anything worse than just a cut and a horrible bruise and pain. It's still painful, unfortunately, but only when I like move my face or touch it or whatever. And the cut is healing very quickly and the swelling is basically all gone and I had some bruising. I think everyone thought that I would have a black eye afterwards and a lot of like purple around my nose, but it wasn't that bad actually. I think the worst I got was a bit of purple underneath the eyes and it was quite kind of yellowy greeny lower down on the bridge of my nose. So it could have been a lot worse. Never been to A&E though. I've never even really been to the hospital for, for something for myself. I've been to the hospital with family members before, but new experience for me and it, I, I was, it freaked me out. I was really, I was really quite scared. I figured I was probably fine, but I just don't, it made me feel really uncomfortable. I felt very, uh, very unsettled. <laughs> oh, my nose. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Recommendation. Don't trip down the stairs and smash your face into a door. Don't, don't do it. It's not... It's not pleasant. I'm feeling kind of sad, so I just ended up moping around the whole day so far. Yep, we all occasionally have days like this, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you're sad and you've got nothing to do, you're allowed to just mope around. But obviously I try to avoid it as much as possible, but even now I am managing to do something with my day, so that's good. Usually when I have days like this, I do not film myself. <laughs> if I'm feeling this crappy, I don't tend to feel like making a video, surprisingly enough. But I figured this is something that I think a lot of people probably go through and, and have sometimes. I feel like everyone has days like this, so I figured I'd just talk about it and share it and uh, let you know that you're not alone when you feel like this. It's totally normal and it happens to me on a regular basis. And we can all uh, be mopey and do nothing together. I don't even really know what to say. Like I sat down and was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like once I start talking, it'll just flow, it'll just go, I'll we'll get into a rhythm and I'll talk about stuff and I'll think of things to say. It hasn't happened. There's nothing in my brain. I mean, there's lots of things in my brain, but not things that I want to talk about on camera. See, this is why, this is why I usually don't film on days when I'm feeling like this, because I don't, I don't really know, I don't really know what to say. I just feel a bit sad. <laughs> just got some stuff going on, it's making me feel a bit sad. And uh, that's, that's that. I think something that helps me on days like this, where I'm just kind of moping, I'm feeling a bit poo, and I'm not really doing anything. I have stuff I could be doing, I always have stuff I could be doing, but I'm not doing it because I'm feeling really poo. One thing that helps is to get up, and shower and get dressed and even if you fancy it do your hair do your makeup if you want to i have and just makes you feel a little bit more like a human and then that makes you feel a bit more capable 
of doing things. I wasted my morning, I didn't really do anything. I did a little bit of admin emails and stuff, but overall I just kind of watched YouTube videos and sat. Which is fine, I'm allowed to do that, I'm not going to beat myself up for it because there's no point and that's just going to make me feel worse and then I'm less likely to get anything done. But once I put the idea in my head that I was going to film and try and make a video today, it made it seem more doable to shower and wash my hair and do my makeup and get dressed and set up my equipment and sit down and actually like talk and make something because I basically told myself that if I didn't film something and make a video I probably wouldn't really achieve anything today and that would make me feel a lot worse than I already feel and if I just sit there like I like I have been for a lot of the morning and let my thoughts run wild then I'm definitely gonna feel worse and there's no point in that so if I can you know do something and distract myself and make something of my day then I might feel a little bit better as well as actually getting stuff done wow it's loud wow that rain is pounding on the windows and sometimes it is easier said than done and I've often had days where I've gone no I, I should do this I should do this I should do this and then I just haven't been able to because I've been feeling so awful and I just haven't felt capable of doing any of that stuff and that's fine that happens you just kind of have to deal with it but if you can get up and do something and make something even if it's just getting up and showering and getting dressed and answering a few emails or writing something or drawing something whatever it might be that's something that you've managed to do on a day that you didn't feel like you could do anything and that's that's awesome. That is something to be proud of, in my opinion. I think we're all allowed to feel horrible and we're all allowed to waste time sometimes because we're feeling crap. It's only human. But if you can do something, you'll feel so much better for it and that hopefully will help you get out of the horrible space that you're residing in. I don't know. I'm not an expert on this, I'm not a professional, I don't really know, I'm just kind of speaking from personal experience and sharing my current thoughts as a person who is having a day where I'm feeling very much in this horrible space where it's all a bit poo. And ultimately, even if I don't manage to edit this whole video and get it uploaded tonight, I've actually managed to do something and somehow funnel all of these bad feelings that I have today into creating something. It may not be a very good something, but it's something. And that in itself has made me feel a bit better. So I hope if you're having a crappy day, just like me, you manage to get up and get dressed and do something. Even if it's just walking to the shop and buying yourself whatever it is you fancy eating, a piece of fruit. A piece of fruit, it's good for you, it's healthy. Have a cup of tea pomegranate and raspberry. A new box I bought the other day. It's quite tasty. I recommend it. It's good tea. It's good tea. It's a nice colour. It's like a deep red. Looks like very watered down blood. Appropriate because it's Halloween time. Yay! <laughs> I don't know. Clifford, what's wrong with me? Many things, you say. I agree, as someone who's only known me for a few days. Quite quick to judge there, but I respect your thoughts and feelings towards me. I'm talking to my plant. I'm I'm talking to my plant who who is called Clifford. That's wow. I <laughs> This is my life.